hi welcome to all in this video lecture we will learn how mershot algorithm step works so in the previous video we have seen that problem is divided into uh, sub problems and these sub problems are our left sub problem and right sub problem then we again divided this left sub problem uh, until we get the individual elements and when we get individual elements because these are sorted elements then we apply merge algorithm in the same way uh, we will perform the divide operation on right sub array and we will get the individual elements and again perform the merge operations like that we are solving the right sub problem here so in, we get individual elements then apply merge operation and at the last uh, the sorted elements of left sub array and sorted elements of right sub array are merged and in order to achieve the sorted elements and this is our final solution now uh, just uh, this is the output of mer short program and uh, we have supply input as 85793695 and we have to uh, uh, and we have written a program of mer short and we have sort these data items so total 22 times functions mer short and uh, merge functions we are called and and this is the mershort signature mershort a is the array name and p index and q index q is 8 means there are 8 elements so uh, and p is low index and uh, r is a high index so the value of r means high index is 8 and low index is 1 so this is the first function called and uh, we and uh, i have given name this function name d1 the second function call is ms14 because we have computed q value so q value came here 4 second times ms a14 will be called and uh, i have given the name of ms a14 as d2 so this is the output all the first column presents output of uh, you can print the uh, called functions as output okay and these are the number of steps so red in red lines uh, in red, red lines represent the merge operations and 15 operations for divide divide uh, is performed by merge short function and merging is performed by merge function so and these are the naming of the function these function called where i have to use in the algorithmic steps explanation on this example so when we found the q value then uh, then we i have given d2 value then again we have to perform merge short on this a14 because these merge short functions are recursive in nature so every uh, times merge short is called then it contains three function call okay two two function call for divide purpose and one function call for merge purpose so this is the output you can see the steps okay and we have to use this d1 d2 d2 a d2 a1 so you uh, you will be familiar about these terms now we move towards the merge short algorithm working that how the steps of uh, merge short works so we know the algorithm um, the first line is that mar short we will call mar short function array p is low index r is high index and this is our unsorted data and we have eight elements in this array so uh, the first index is p p is 1 r is 8 so it uh, the condition will be there if p less than r then we have to we will move towards further instructions 
if 1 is less than 8 this is true then we have to compute q value so q value will be our lower index value we have taken floor value so q will be 4 here now when we got this q value then it will be easy to divide the uh, 8 elements array in 2 parts because after and we have given the first instru instruction and the name is d1 this is the first function call and the name is d1 when we have computed q value then there are two another merge short functions d2 and d3 so d2 is responsible uh, to make division in for the to make division for left sub array and d3 uh, is responsible to make division for the right sub array and the indexing of left array left sub array is uh, array uh, the elements of array which belongs to from 1 to 4 because q is 4 and the right sub array elements will be from indexing from 5 to 8 but uh, but we have to complete the execution of d2 okay then after that we will able to uh, call d3 and then we will able to merge this function m4 so here you can see that when, when this uh, first instruction d1 is called so d1 the execution of d1 depends on the complete execution of d2 d3 and m4 so every time this is uh, you can see that uh, you can see here mar short apq mar short aq plus 1 r and the first instruction mar short apr and these all three functions are uh, having same signature okay same number of parameters so when d2 will be invoked then uh, it's a kind of a recursive approach okay so again when d2 will be called then d2 will also contain three functions d2a d2b and m2c so here in the first call in the first call of d1 our array is divided in two parts but first we have to execute this d2 uh, d2 instruction and this is our left sub array here you can see that then we will execute this d2 instruction and the index of d2 is from starting 1 to 4 when we will call d2 then again d2 will contain uh, three functions d2a d2b and m2c m2c is for march so first we have to execute d2a then we will execute d2b then uh, and then m2c so again we have to compute q value here so q will be uh, low index plus high index divided by 2 and we have to choose lower index value so q is 2 here so now uh, we got the q value so q value is our 2 and in, and the starting index is 1 so 1 2 2 so this will be the partition here okay in d2a phase then d2a will again call okay please uh, note down the uh, previous steps the first was d1 when d1 was called then d2 d3 and m4 uh, is uh, there when d2 is called then d2 contain d2a d2b m2c again when d2a will call then d2a will call then we have to compute again q value so q is 1 here so d2a1 d2a2 and m2a3 so d2a1 will be merge short array and the range of array will be from and uh, because p is 1 and q is 1 so 1 1 so the 1 1 will be break down here and in 1 1 in uh, in the 1 1 index element 8 is present and for when and that in the next step we will execute d2a2 so mar short a 2 comma 2 so our 5 element number 5 will be break down and when we will get the individual elements so we have to perform merge operation and the merge operation signature will be array low index what is the q value here q is 1 here and r is 2 we will we will perform merge operation and you can see here from when when we will call d2a1 d2a1 so here p less than q is not satisfied 
so this statement is terminated then we will move towards d2a2 so in d2a2 the p is uh, uh, q plus 1 means 2 that will be p and r is 2 so p less r is not satisfied this is false then we again move merge operation so we will perform merge operation okay so uh, in the uh, next session i will explain how merge sort works how merge function will work okay so d2a1 d2a2 and m2a3 is completed here means d2a is completed here okay so the second function call was d2 and inside d2 there are three functions uh, which has to call d2a d2b and m2c so d2a part is over now we will uh, call d2b so d2b and what is the index of d2b what was the index of d2b 3 4 index of d2b was 3 4 in the previous slide you can see please note down d2b d2b index was a 3 4 after execution of d2a and d2b we will call m2c so we will we have called d2b means merge short array indexing start from 3 to 4 so 3 4 indexing elements at index 3 and 4 will be break down and again d2b will be uh, further contain d2b1 d2b2 and m2 b3 so d means divide m means merge okay 2b 2b1 2b2 and we uh, i have included this d d means divide means divide is going on so in d2 b1 and again we have computed the q value so q value is here 3 okay so the d2 b1 is a3 3 a4 4 so in next step we have d2 b1 d2 b2 and again we have the individual elements okay so uh, we will perform the merge operation because individual elements condition will not satisfied p less than r condition will not meet here so we have to perform merge operation so like that we have executed d2a and d2b sorry this is d2b we have performed d2a d2b then d2 contains d2a d2b and m2c so d2a is over d2b is over over and we will execute m2c means merging merging of these uh, two elements of left subarray and two sorted elements of right subarray so like that we will perform m2c operation here okay so we can see that d2 phase is over okay second function call is over now we uh, we are calling the third function the range of third function is uh, 5 to 8 means right subarray we now we are solving the right subarray how divide uh, process occurs in right subarray so again we have called third function that is known as d3 computed uh, q is computed the value of q is 6 then d3 will again contain d3a d3b and m3c d3a is for part, uh, to have left subarray and d3b will have right subarray and again merging operation so d3a now we have to call d3a here so d3a is array 5 6 d3 is again divided in d3a1 d3a2 and again we have computed the q value and our condition is uh, true we have computed q value q is 5 so d3a and will contain p is 5 q is 5 a 5 5 means we are getting the individual elements here after that uh, after getting individual elements we will call merge function here okay now again uh, after that d3a is over then d3b part will come now you can see there then d3b1 d3b2 we got individual elements here 9 and 5 so merge operation will be there after that one more merge operation will be there for d3 okay d3 we contain d3a d3b and m3c okay merge operation will be there so for the when the first function was called as d1 
then d1 contain d2 d3 and m4 so what is m4 m4 will be uh, merging the sorted elements of left sub array and sorted elements of the right sub array at the last so like uh, this uh, we can see that divide and merge operations happens here uh, in the next uh, slide uh, we will uh, we will discuss that how how these sorted elements have uh, came as a result after applying the merge functions okay so we have to apply merge function in the last stage also and in the previous stage also and you can see that in previous stage when we apply merge sort then we have obtained the sorted elements here you can also see index number 5 6 7 8 when we apply merge sort, merge, merge function then we have uh, then the result is sorted data and we have we can uh, we have to also apply merge sort in these individual elements and the result will be sorted elements okay so in the uh, next slide uh, we will uh, discuss the merge functions and before um, discussion of merge function so this is the output of merge sort now i hope that you have understood that what is d1 d2 d2a d2a1 so this is the step by step execution okay so this is the step by step execution of all the functions called of merge sort and merge function so this is the output that first function was merge sort the index is 1 last index is 8 then we got the q value then this m14 is called m14 is break down into m a m s a2 then m s a2 is break down into 1 1 and 2 2 then when we got individual elements then merge procedure will occur then then second uh, uh, the right sub part of um, d2 right sub part of d2 that is d2b so like that these functions are executed step by step Thanks for watching.